What's up guys and welcome back to LA Noir. This is Nicholson Electroplating. Hey, news from Jack. There's a statewide APB out on. Jack's okay. He has something up his sleeve. He's not worried about being caught. How do we help? We go after the other side of the equation. Jack has a lesion and its cronies running scared. We go after the doctor and some of the other guys. But the whole department breathing down our necks. It's time for action, Herschel. It's time for change. Jack's crossed the Rubicon, and we have to be on the other side right now. Christ, what was that? What the? Explosion. Something big. You think it's the Reds? You think those rusky sons of bitches that dropped the H-bomb on us? Calm down, Herschel. We need to be ready for the call. I'm not waiting for an invitation. Get in the car and head for the cloud. KGPL can give us the details on the way. Did we just get bombed by the Russians? Bro, what is happening? Oh my goodness, bro. People are freaking out right now. Rightfully so. Yo, what? We're just getting straight into the fire. Have no clue what's happening. We have looters around the corner. Cut them or put them down. We need to get this area under control. Who, who instantly thinks, I mean, this, this is a little bit uncalled for, I'll be honest, to just shoot him back, but he was shooting at us. Like that, that was a little. In the days of current events, we probably could have used less than lethal measures. I'd never seen nothing like But who just instantly starts looting and stealing when something blows up? Like a bomb's gone off. Jesus Christ. Poor people. Oh. We gotta find out what went down. Bro. Who reacts that quickly though, you know what I mean? Like this place blew up and these guys were already looting stores before the flames were even subdued. Pretty sure we had. Oh. I don't know if we're safe in here, fellas. What in God's name what is this? It wasn't nuclear. If it was, we'd all be dead from the radiation. That's reassuring. What's radiation? Everyone inside the factory was vaporized. Look at the size of that crater. What's going on over there? The mayor is going on television. Feeling for calm. Television? We can afford one of those things. <laughs> Anything to go on? We're looking at the remains of Nicholson electroplating. I have an idea of what might have caused the explosion, but I'm only guessing. Have a look around the rubble, see if you come up with anything. So this entire factory just exploded and everybody inside was vaporized. Then it's time for us to do our jobs. Let's do our jobs, baby. You got something over here? What are you looking at, bro? You good? All right, I'm not really sure what I'm looking for. It seems like this is all just kind of a bunch of random rebel. This guy's taking notes. I don't see anything. Little pieces of paper and stuff. Bricks everywhere. There's nothing that's really standing out to me yet. Just thinking it couldn't get worse, bro. Elsa's kidnapped. They have no clue where Jack is. It sounds like they don't really know that Elsa's kidnapped. I know Cole would be freaking out. Um, now factories are exploding randomly. I wonder if this was just an accident or if it's like a intentional thing. Can we investigate the bodies? Can look at the bodies. Just took their shoes right off, bro. All right, let's head uh, head over this That's way, it, maybe. Mr. Mayor, we're wrapped. Well, good. Thank you very much, son. I think it went okay. Looks like we've got a couple of, pickups, sir, a couple of different directions we can go here. A shoe? That maybe goes for me too, son. Have a more. Might be able to return this to one of the victims. 
don't think this is any oh, use to over us. Over on those stretchers, what is this? More bricks? I thought four VIX was a tough break. Oh. That is just awful. This is a huge hey, area. I think I got something here. What do you got? Any idea what this is? Very large egg cup, a Viking helmet. How would I? Looks to me like some kind of machine component. An P and W part. Wasp Major four nine sixty forty nine sixty. Okay. Found another shoe. I don't know how they. I mean, these these shoes were made well, bro. If they can, if they can withstand something like that. What do you have over here? The fundamentals of surface finishing. Me as much. Kind of like a guidebook for their job. Can I open this up? No. All right. I just feel like we have so much space here, but there's nothing that we're actually finding. Looks like he doesn't really have anything. Let's come back this way. I know we had a a road branch off to the left as well. Oop. A tattered shirt. Superior laundry. Left. Ticket number J twenty six twenty. Laundry tag. At least we can identify who it was. Should be good for us. Phelps, I think I found something over here. What do you got? I mean, that looks pretty gross right there. What are you looking at, though? A woman's shoe? Nothing significant. <laughs> Sorry, Biggs. Look at... Look at that poor person. My goodness. I don't think I could handle this, dude. I really couldn't. Detective, you seen this yet? Come take a look. What you got for me? Got a locker? Blew the locker open, but shielded the contents. Let's see what we got in here. This is weird. Okay, let's just go through each thing one by one. Ooh. A camera? Spy camera. Only OSS agents use these things. We'll need to get the film developed to see if there's an espionage angle. Why would somebody have a spy camera in a briefcase? What is this? Any ideas, Herschel? None that I care to utter for public consumption. Hmm. Tomoko Okamoto. Tomoko Akamoto. Japanese name. So was this guy a spy for Japan? What is it? A substitution cipher. The Germans used them in the war. These are cipher rings. You know what to do with them? Maybe. I used them in OCS. Okay, so this says H equals K. His first letter to the cipher key. The rest of the message should align itself. Ah, so we probably... We probably want to move this to... To H. And then... Oop, and then go to the inside and put K on there. H equals K. There we go. Now we can rotate this to all the things. So it's saying 133 three, and then K... In, and we gotta go to S. Uh, in V, B O J. So we gotta go to a B. It's keeping track of the actual message in the top left. If you guys wanna wanna watch that, B O J L K Q. X space X S B. X S B. It's an 133 North Vermont. 133 North Vermont Avenue. All right. Is that everything? Can we check the stuff up top? Don't have anything up top I can check. So this guy had spy cameras. He had like secret message decoders. 
hiding addresses, and all kinds of stuff. It sounds like we got all the clues we need. Music stopped. We had our nice little uh, audio clue. Audio cue, I guess you could call it. And it looks like it wants us to head to our car and then maybe go see a game well. Who is this guy over here? Hold on, can I talk to this guy? No? Looked like he was somebody they wanted us to talk to or something. But I guess not. So let's get out to our car. There was a game well around the corner to the right I saw on the mini-map. And, uh... Got a couple of different places we could go. This is your place? What's left of it? 32 years of work up in smoke. The owner of Nicholson Electroplating. Fred Nicholson. Dressed to the nines. All right. Can you tell us what happened here? Our, uh... Chief Chemist Harold McClellan was using this area to test the, the new process. And what exactly is this new process? Uh, that's uh, classified information, son. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to bad cop this. You've got to tell me what's happening here. A lot of people died here, Mr. Nicholson. I'm prepared to go to the press and tell them it was your fault. What is the new process? A way to chemically polish aluminum. It's traditionally done by hand. It's extremely labor intensive. The process could be worth millions. Or it could blow up your entire plant and fry Who's everybody. Tomiko Akamato. Dr. McClellan's personal assistant. She came highly recommended. Ooh. Why'd you get all weird there, sir? I don't think she came highly recommended. Do we the 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 espionage? Yeah, the espionage thing. I think we can use that as evidence. I'm going to accuse Akimoto him. Akamoto was involved in industrial espionage. Was she working for you or for a foreign government? That's a ridiculous assertion. How can you possibly say she was a spy? Well, she's got a briefcase full of spy gadgets. How many of your other employees carry spy cameras in their handbags? Jesus, Mary and Joseph, she was selling me out. If she wasn't a foreign spy, who could she have been working for? There could be other plating companies. So he didn't but the know. the big customers for the process are the aircraft manufacturers. Lockheed, Boeing, Hughes, North American. Interesting. What can you tell us about McClellan? A brilliant chemist. He approached me a few months ago with the idea for the new process. So no one has ever done this before? No, but... It's legitimate research. Seems kind of sketchy, but... He is kind of looking away a little bit. Blinking a lot. I don't like him. So you <clears> thought <throat> McClellan could do what no one else could do. You were prepared to take that risk. Look, he is a... Was... A trained chemist. And his ideas could revolutionize electroplating. Was... Mm. Oh, he's dead. You would okay. be rich. I'm a businessman. What's wrong with turning a buck? You blew up six blocks. And God knows how many people are dead. I regret that. That's laudable. <laughs> we'll be in touch, Mr. Nicholson. Can you send us Dr. McClellan and Miss Akamoto's personnel files? I will if I can find them. By the way, we also found the collar of a shirt. It has a laundry tag. They're likely to be Dr. McClellan. And the majority of people who worked here don't use a laundry service. Thanks for being honest with us. Okay, I mean, it, it's tough. Uh, to me, there's no evidence of foul play so far. Uh, I mean, you did kind of blow up the whole block and kill a bunch of people, but at the same time, like, it, it's not like that was on purpose. I, I feel like it was an accident. I know I saw, okay, we, we probably don't want to run that far. I saw a, a game well. It had it highlighted in blue on our mini-map. So let's hop in the car here. Guess we want to go to Superior Laundry. Down to go check that out. Oh, we don't know where it is, though. Ah, we don't have the address of it. Okay, so we've got a... We've got a, That's probably what we have to call in the game well. I can see the game well over here. Make sure your family get this does thing it. turned around. Look for the bin at your local grocers. Nice your little 12-point turn. Try not to scratch up the car. Try not to today, falter on our five-star rating, although I think we might have lost it in that very first accident. 
You think he'd blow him one up in smoke? Or is he still Oh, you think he's, he could still be alive? What if this was like insurance fraud or something? I, I wouldn't put it past this game, that's for sure. Detective Phelps, badge 1247. How could I help, Detective? Can you speak to someone at the Army Air Force Base for me, please? Air Force Base? Of course, Detective. Tell them I have what I believe is an aircraft part. It's polished metal, light for its size. It looks like a cone of some sort. Oh, the first thing we stamped found. on the inside. P and W Wasp Major R4360. I'll get back to you, Detective, when you check in for messages. Anything else? I need an address for Superior Laundry Services. Closest store to your location is in Wilshire. 4766 Melrose Avenue. Thanks for your help. All right. So an aircraft part, huh? Interesting. Not really sure sure what to make of that. I mean, that he did say that a lot of the aircraft companies are his competitors, Boeing and Lockheed and stuff like that. So, I don't know. So far, it kind of just seems like they were maybe trying to cut corners a little bit. They were trying out a new process, trying to develop something new. I mean, it, it really stinks, but that's, that's not criminal, right? I mean, I guess... I guess it's still manslaughter, though. Doesn't matter if it's if it's not on purpose. You can't be going around risking it for the biscuit like that and, and putting people's lives in danger. Made it Superior Laundry on Melrose, 10:18 a.m. See what we've got going on in here. What do you need? Is this the same one that we went to way Thompson back Biggs, at the start LAPD. of the game? We have one of your laundry tags. Can you tell us who it might belong to? Are you kidding? I got work to do, Mac. Here's the customer book. Knock yourself out. This is 100% the same guy because he said the same thing last time. That's awesome. Number one is uh, J2620, Cole. J2620. Oscar Hangstrom. All right. Looks, uh, looks good who to me. Who is Hangstrom? Could be someone else from the factory. Three jackets and a dress? shirt. No. Dead end. Hmm. Thank you for all your help, sir. All right, looks like we can use the telephone here. So uh, the the owner thought it was going to be McClellan. Operator, I think. message was that his name? Putting but it wasn't. Now. Phelps, badge twelve forty-seven. Phelps says it's a, a dead end. I don't know. Let's keep that in mind. Os Oscar Hangstrom. I need an address for an Oscar Hangstrom. Thanks for your help. So it truly might be a dead end, huh? All right. Could be a fake name. Could be an alias. Could just be a random dude who doesn't live in LA. Who knows? But uh, we can go on to the deciphered address that we got out of the, the secret, uh, secret translator word vial thing, whatever you want to call it. What do you got for me, Biggs? You always have some sort of a crazy, borderline, not even plausible idea of what's happening, but he seems to be awfully quiet today. It's been a minute since we've been in a case with him. It's been a few episodes since we've controlled Phelps, so it's good to have the boys back together. Deciphered address. There we go. So this is potentially the address of the, the Yakamoto spy person. It's going to be kind of interesting. Do we have... Hold on a second. Did I hear... Ah, uh, it's going to tell us what apartment it is. Number one. Tomoko Akamoto. Well, well. Why the cloak and dagger routine, Miss Akamoto? Thought we were going to have like a legitimate legitimate clue there or something. You can usually figure out which apartment is which based on the the doorknobs. Is this number one here? This is number one. The door is open. Uh-oh. Somebody turned the place over. Better watch your step. This isn't good. See a knife? Why is the... Oh, Jesus! What the fudge? 
Do you think I could fit in there? I couldn't fit in there. Somebody killed him and threw him in the freezer! I something more to say about getting shoved in a fridge, Herschel. What the fudge? He's been in there for a while. One to the head, one to the heart. Point blank. New POI, John Doe! Doesn't have a jacket on, so we can't check his pockets. He does have some jewelry, though. Class ring. Man, I bought a class ring back in the day. I never, never wore the thing once. I don't even know where it is anymore. On oh, Jeans Lindbergh. Very expensive watch. Favored by Flyboys. I always wanted one as a kid. That's funny. As a kid, all I wanted was some food on the table. Looks like it stopped at 8... 8... You know, 49? Or so, or is that 854? That's 854. So 854 PM or AM is potentially when he was taken down. We've got a phone here. We've got more blood on the floor. That leads to the wall. That's where he was shot and then dragged over to the fridge. It's pretty, pretty gnarly. Fire's still rolling. You know what this is, Biggs? Retired police officer. Sure. The department gives you one of those when you retire. Huh. So do we think? I mean, he was wearing a tie that could have come off that that could have fallen off of him, or that could have come from the killer. There's no. I mean, no specific sign of a struggle or anything. Could have been. I mean, it, it, the place is torn to shreds, but it, it seems like somebody was looking for something. Oh, it's just like what was in the briefcase. Looks like we have a match. Interesting dame, this Akamoto. Microfilm? What is it exactly? Microfilm. A document shrunk to the size of your thumbnail. Rod must have amazing eyesight. I'm sure you use it like a projection or something. Skeletons in the ice box. All right, sounds like we're we're done Bigs. here. Edge 525. I'll need a couple of black and whites at 133 North Vermont Avenue, Wilshire. We'll need an ambulance in the corner. And probably a team from technical services as well. Let me hop on the phone here, Biggs. Operator, give me R and I. Putting you through now. This is weird. Detective Phelps, badge 1247. Messages, please. Can you put me through? It's ringing now. We're on our way in. Nix that. I got a message from Lindbergh Field. An airplane tech there identified your part. What is it? He said it was a prop spinner from either a Corsair or a B-50. A what? Fits over the center of the propeller and protects the pitch gearing. So it's a military part? Could be. But get this, the Spruce Goose runs eight Wasp R4360s. I think you better get over there and check it out. The Spruce Goose. Okay, investigate Hughes Aircraft is our ne next thing here. I mean, shoot, wrong way. It's interesting for sure, this... I guess I don't really know what an electroplating company does. They were just trying to spin the metal some... It, it, they could just have a contract with the military, right? This Hughes aircraft. They could just be trying to clean the parts for them. Hangar and service workshop for the Hughes aircraft company. All right. Let's go check it out. Like, I, I, I don't see... I don't see how anybody's doing anything illegal. You know what I mean? Like, it, it's illegal to blow up and, and even if it's on accident kill a bunch of people but I don't I don't see that there's really any like super foul play here yet I guess eventually we're gonna keep scraping away at the surface and we might find something but so far it seems like it's just a big freak accident those things happen bro look at like Chernobyl and stuff so um, 
I don't know. Still gotta put those people away. Gotta protect the public and make sure people aren't being too... Too crazy. Out of the car. Police. I need the gun in my glove compartment to shoot you! Yeah, you know what? We're, we're just... We're... <clears throat> We're gonna pretend like that didn't happen. Hughes Aircraft. This is the military project, gentlemen. Can you state your business? Detectives, Phelps and Biggs, LAPD. We're investigating the explosion. We have reason to believe there may be a link to Hughes Aircraft. I'm sorry, I can't help you there, detective. Without authorization from Military HQ, you won't be allowed onto this facility. What seems to be the problem, gentlemen? Hey, Biggs. You're not still with the LAPD. Right, so, me. Can you help us out here? Sure. What seems to be the problem? We're working the big explosion at the electroplating plant. I found a part there that belongs to one of your planes. I work head of security for Mr. Hughes now. I'll take full responsibility. I'm sure we can clear this up. Follow me. It's the big hangar. You can't miss it. All right. So we've got a new a new friend here, Vernon Mapes. Mapes. And what's his connection to Howard Hughes? Vernon Mapes used to work advice. Word is he runs fuck pads for Hughes' starlets. A pimp. Earl and Mapes would seem. Mapes was the role model for creeps like Earl. Hold up, so this dude... He's a little sketchy, he's a little corrupt, and he's an ex-cop? We found an ex-cop's tie clip in that apartment. Although if he's not currently... Well, actually, no, he would have it, because you get it when you retire. I was going to say, if he's not currently serving, why would he be wearing that? But maybe he was wearing it because he's retired. I don't know. He's dirty cops, bro. You can't that trust really him. Fly? Mr. Hughes believes so. Amazing, isn't she? Oh, this is the spruce. Group. Jesus Christ, Biggs. You want to get me fired? Mr. Hughes hates that fucking man. <laughs> it's the H4 Hercules to you. You mind answering a few questions, Mr. Mapes? Call me Vernon, kid. Fire away. Uh-oh. Former LAPD officer and Hughes Aircraft head of security. Let's talk about this explosion. You know anything about the explosion that happened at Nicholson Electroplating this morning? No more than anyone else. Heard the boom while I was shaving. Almost shit my pants. Thought it was Pearl all over again. Why are you looking off to the side? He sounded good with his response until he started looking around. I think he's lying. And he, he crossed his arms and folded them up. That's what somebody who's lying does. But you had no personal contact with any of the employees. And you have no idea what caused the explosion. I'm in security. I handle Mr. Hughes's personal interests, if you get my meaning. I'm not directly involved in manufacturing. Hmm. Do you know Tomiko Akamato? Never heard of the broad. Why? Seems like he's telling the truth. Oh! Well, uh, no, he was lying. He looked away at the Akamato last second. And the McClellan are missing. Do you still carry a gun? Sure. I have a permit. <laughs> Do you know the chief chemist at Nicholson Electroplating, a Harold McClellan? I've heard of the guy. He was pitching some fancy process to the company. I mean, it... he's still kind of looking away again. I got to use my intuition, dude. I, I got to do it. Let's ask the community. They say to accuse him. What, uh, what would we use for that, though? Oh, the spinner. Yeah, it it's a spinner that they use on their plane. So he, he's got to know something about it. We know that you were sending parts to Nicholson for testing. Question is whether you were going through Nicholson or cutting your own deal with McClellan. <laughs> interesting theory, kid. How are you going to prove any of that? It's real interesting that we found one of your spinners. We found a prop spinner in the wreckage. We believe it belongs to this aircraft. We sent them some aluminum parts to test. Howard and the Boffins were interested in this guy McClellan's theories. McClellan was cutting out Nicholson. That's not our problem. Okay, so we know Nicholson is, is for help, Mr. straight up now. Do you mind if we have a look around while we're here? Sure. Knock yourself out. Yet again, though, I stand by the fact that I... Her and her. 
Take a look inside her. All right. I mean, that's my favorite thing to do. Um, <clears throat> I, I feel like I don't see that there's any any foul play. You know what I mean? Like I, I feel like they were just trying to find a way to clean the metal. I, I don't know why you have to clean the metal. Clown's process was gonna gonna replace that. So it's a cheaper way, a more more you know easy way of doing things. They were trying something new. Looks like we've got some blueprints here. Can't check any of those. Got a giant wrench or giant giant crowbar. I'm sorry. Ooh. Right. And climb the ladder. This is pretty sick. Latitude 24:15 north. north. Longitude 76 degrees zero minutes west. So that's a location. If we were back at the Hall of Records, we could probably find out. Oh no, we could use this. I was gonna say we could probably <laughs> probably find out what that is. Oh my goodness. 76 degrees west. 24 degrees, 15 minutes north. Okay. 76 degrees west. 76 degrees west. Here's 24 degrees. Minutes north. The Bahamas. Is exactly. They were going Bahamas. to the Bahamas. Somebody's already got their maiden flight planned. What were they going to the Bahamas for? Hmm. Got a communication device here. More blueprints. Do not enter. Authorized personnel only. I mean, this thing is pretty cool. Can't lie. Hmm. Thought I heard a beep next to that locker there. Maybe not. All right. Hello, sir. Can I speak with you? Nope. I think I saw there was another, uh, there's another staircase out here. Might be able to go up this bad boy. Nope. Not gonna be able to do that. Looks like Nape's office is in the far corner. Think so. Wouldn't put it past him. Are you really about to walk out on this airplane, Phelps? We're gonna find the engine that it came off of? Can't walk out there. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I don't really know what I'm doing here. We're just kind of checking this out. Do you guys see any that could, could show that they have like a missing piece? There's gotta be something up here on top of the airplane. They wouldn't let you get up here otherwise. I don't know, dude, I've, <clears throat> I've been at it for a while now. I've, I've been running around all over this thing just spamming X by all the engines. I figured we might be able to find one of the engines that was missing a piece or something like that. But it doesn't appear so. We've got uh, all kinds of parts and stuff over here. I feel like we've had some really big areas today. Flammable liquid. I just I don't I don't know I don't know where to where to stop and start you know what I mean I think they said that his office was up here see what else he's hiding should we search through his office can we do that looks like this is his office it's got a gun optimistic Cole. photograph here. Who is that? I mean, that's that's Mapes, but who's the other guy he's next to? Is that like the big boss or whatever? Is that Mr. Hughes? Nothing there. A couple more photos here. That is Marie the Body McDonald. <laughs> Does Hughes have her on contract to RKO? Yeah, I bet he does.
She's a looker, that's for sure. Why is the photograph a clue, though? What does she have to do with anything? Looks like he likes cigars. Valor cigars. Blue room matches. So he's a man of culture, I see. Anything to go on. Hmm. I mean, we still have music going, so I'm... I'm not really sure what else we can do. I feel like we had to miss something up on top of the plane. Can we look? I really wanted to go up this one because you kind of get underneath the engine. I don't think you can, though. Can I talk to anybody? Hello, sir. Nope, he's just working. Um... What about over here? The Oh, these are the actual engines. Can we inspect these? What's up here? Oh, this goes this goes back up to the top. We don't need that. Hmm. Yeah, dude, I'm I'm I mean There's another set of offices up here. I'm not really seeing anything. Oop. That's locked. That's locked too. Interesting. I don't know. I mean, if we take a look at our location here, this is the first time I've been stumped. Hughes Aircraft is not, it's not crossed off yet. So we definitely have something else we have to uncover. Can you get out of the way, bro? Oh! Is that a Pratt & Whitney 4360? It sure is. You know your motors. Do you mind if I take a look at the props better? We're getting her ready for sea trials, so be quick about it. <laughs> okay. What is the oily covering on the metal? We coat the aluminum parts in linseed oil to preserve it from oxidization. So that's what they're trying to cut out with this new new cleaning process. That's the last thing we had to do? Let's see what Pinker has for us. He's probably done tinkering with that camera by now. Oh, I forgot about the spy camera. All right, we're supposed to return to the Wilshire station. I don't even know. I don't even really know how to get out of here, bro. <laughs> We've been scrambling all around this Thanks place. Tour, Mapes. Always happy to help the department. Hey, don't I know your face from the papers? No, you don't. You're the cop that's stripping that German bro. <laughs> nah, I think you got the wrong guy. Stripping. I'm gonna start using that. Stripping that, that German broad. All right, let's get out of here. So that, man. Another, another location down. Another, you know, person of interest and location of interest investigated. I still don't, uh, ooh, what's, what's the unknown address? Do you want to go to the unknown address? Fragment of address visible in the... Oh, the... So McClellan was selling his new process to Hughes and cutting out Nicholson. That was in the photograph we saw in there. This would never go all the way up to Hughes. We would have middlemen deal with stuff like this. Someone like Mapes? The word middleman was invented for guys like Mapes. Thanks for letting me out, boys. Appreciate it. Don't want to run through your, your thing there. So yeah, I, I don't really like this Mapes dude. And I don't like the fact, I think one of the biggest connections we've made so far is that there is a retired police officer tie clip at the murder scene. And this guy's a retired police officer who kind of seems to be a little be a bit sketchy. Being separated from your kids, Phelps. They're fine. They've got their mother and they've got each other. What about you? What about me? What have you got? A friend of mine is helping me through it. Oh, Elsa. I'm in good hands, don't you worry. But, uh, yeah, I, I don't like him. We also, we had that, that fragmented address. I couldn't click on it. So that was in one of the pictures that we looked at with the, the, the body girl or whatever. Um, I couldn't look at the, I couldn't click the address because we don't have the whole you. thing. I may as well ask you. Ask me what? The Black Dolly. Who was it that killed that poor girl? No official charges have been pressed in the case. I know that. I'm not looking for the official version. I made a promise to the department. These are the guys who sold you down the river. Old Phelps. Sticking to his values and morals, except when it comes to his wife and children. Never gonna let you down for that, bro. I really liked you at the start of this game. 
I still like you. I've still got respect for you, but you definitely, definitely got knocked down a couple of pedestals in my eyes. But uh, that's all right. Nobody's, nobody's perfect. I know that as well as anyone. So let's see if we can get to the bottom of this, fellas. Things aren't adding up. The other thing is that guy has a gun, and the guy in the apartment died to two gunshot wounds. I wish we could have inspected his gun closer and like maybe there were two missing missing shells or something like that. One for the head, one for the heart. I don't know. To me right now, Mapes screams sketchball. Back at the Wilshire Police Station. Time to find out what Yakamoto was up to. Any messages for me, Hopkins? Not many you'd want to hear. Newspapers wanting interviews and rookies cussing you out, mostly. <laughs> Nothing else. Pinker wants you in tech services. Maybe you'll be more popular downstairs. I think you're a good cop, but I try and stay out of politics. Everybody tries to stay out of politics, Ray. Well, don't quote me on it, but I'm hoping that Parker will get the job and clean this place up. I have your photographs. All right. You can use the magnifier. There's quite a lot of detail. Well, let's take a look. Very funny. I think you're right, Ray. We have our man. You take a nice photo, Phelps. <laughs> okay. So that's obviously not, not what we're looking for. Let's take a look at this. Bringing the watch on a match for our John Doe. He's obviously the competitive bid. Can you get this over to Lockheed so we can get a name for this guy? So this guy it's works for Lock Lockheed way. Martin. He's the one that died. Okay. He's the one that was killed. Sorry. Let's look at this next one here. Howard Hughes, millionaire, industrialist, aviator, and playboy, and Vernon Mapes, ex-dirty cop and business fixer. So this is the, the photo that we saw in the, uh, in the office or whatever back at the aircraft facility. This Howard Hughes guy always has like a top hat and a suit on. And he's got that, that bushy mustache. This guy's a sleazeball for sure. Looks like we've got their, um, they're kind of like workers behind them. Okay. Let's see what this next photograph's about. Preferred embodiment of Excellent Google. photography, Tomiko. So if Tomiko had the goods on McClellan, too bad they blew the place to hell. Due to the chemically unstable nature of the above mentioned com compounds, all due care must be taken monitoring the temperature at which the solution is kept prior to immersion. Okay, so she, whoever she was, she was, you know, taking notes, taking pictures, that kind of thing. Who is that? Is this McClellan? Can anyone make out the street number behind him? Are you kidding? Street number. My eyesight? Where's the street number? I see the, the sign up here, West. What street number? I don't see a street number. Might be able to in the next photo. 3941. 3941 West something. Okay. Are we good? Is that it? Cole. Can you help me with a little experiment? Use the eyedropper in front of you. One drop from each of the bottles on the desk. Place the drops in the Petri dish. Guy gave his wife a okay. I'd say all's fair in love and war. Perchloric acid. One drop in there. In seed oil. One drop in there. Boys get any on the side. Acetic. Whoa! It's okay, guys. Just a little experiment. Can you guys knock it off? Everyone's still jumpy from that bang this morning. Very funny, Ray. You just took a couple years off my life expectancy. Did the same trick to me about an hour ago. So that was the stuff that caused the explosion. That's what happened. I think so. Acetic anhydride is almost as explosive as nitro. And when mixed with perchloric acid, it's very unstable. It needs to be cooled constantly. We used linseed oil. You could add any organic compound to trigger an explosion. Three little drops. Yeah, 
Oh. And they were using a 100-gallon vat. So that oil is what was on those caps, and then they tried to do the cleaning, and it interacted with the caps. And that's how it ended up exploding. All right, sounds good to me. Well, let me pick my hat up here, and let's get out of here. We've got an address we need to go, uh, go take a look at, fellas. Let's hit the exit here. See him? Saw his picture in the paper. Love how everyone is just murmuring under their breaths, bro. It's worse than like high school or something. Where's our car at? We definitely took the long way around here. Here it is. All right. A house in the photograph. Unidentified house picture in the photograph. So we're gonna go check this out. Let's go see where this leads. We've got an explosion. We've got a murder. We've got some some shady suspects. Got some business competition. Let's, let's see if we can get to the bottom of this. Looks like we made it. <clears throat> Doors open yet again. We gonna have another murder scene inside. What's happening here? This place stinks of petroleum. Avgas, if I'm not mistaken. It's all around the floor. Aviation fuel? Why? Are they trying to burn this place? They're trying to get rid of evidence or something. What evidence would they be getting rid of, though, is the question. There's something here. We've got a ticket to the Bahamas. Hangstrom is flying today on TWA. Hangstrom is dead, Cole. Why leave your ticket behind? Maybe just cleaning up. Hmm. He's got his passport all good to go. United States of America. Investigate it further. Oscar Hangstrom. Walter Hangstrom is his real name. Angelica Hangstrom's his wife. Daniel Hangstrom's his son. He's a chemist. I mean, this all makes sense. So he was, he was working for Nicholson. Hangstrom <gasps> and McClellan are the same man. Oh, shit! No! Gas, cold gas. We gotta get out of here right now! What do you want me to do? Look, by the stove! Shoot the gas line, Cole, we're out of here! This? Oh my god, go, 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 go! How do we get out of here? Where's the window? Go, go out the window. Go out the window. Come on. Bust that shiz! Let's go! Fuck. There you are, shit heel. Come on, he's not getting away from us. So he was trying to torch the place. I don't think he knew... I don't think he knew we were there. So Vernon Mace and McClellan... Or his name... His real name is Hangstrom, a.k.a. McClellan. They were working together. Woo! Lost your hat there, bud, but it's gonna be all right. Ooh, look Smash at that power slide. Nice. Got a piece of his bumper there. But yeah, they were working together, so McClellan must have been trying out this new thing. He was undercutting Nicholson. He was like using Nicholson's place to test this thing, but he was actually really working with the, the Lockheed guys, or the, the Hughes guys, I'm sorry, not Lockheed. Lockheed's not at fault here. Let's catch back up. This is where the bomb went off. Games, Take this guy out. I'm trying. Shoot, dude. I thought he was gonna take a, a left there. That's my bad. Back Two on him. Security men, Cole. Stay on mates. Knock them off the road if you have to, but stay on that fucker. Alright. I can't get a target that isn't there, Phelps. Nice. We'll take that. That was literally perfect. Instantly destroyed their car. Oh, we got another one here. I'll try to shoot out his tires. Wish me luck. Dude, he's very erratic in, in his in his driving here. I'm having a hard time following him. We've got his goons behind us. What is this? Woo! Got a nice little hit right there. That may have done more damage to us, though. Gotta be careful with our engine bay. 
Looks like we lost his goons again. Stick your head out that window and land a shot there, Biggs. We're still good. Uh oh. Why would he run all the way back to Hughes Hughes aircraft? I guess he's got his goons to protect him. We're gonna have to go through all the security men first. I hope you're ready for a fight, Cole. Wait, we're we're gonna kill these guys? I I feel like that's not necessarily the answer. He's down. Stay in cover. We got more coming up. He go. He's down. He's down as well. We got more on our right. What's up with all the gunfights lately, bro? This is insane. There's one over here too. Take him down. There's one behind us. Gotta watch out for that. He's down. I can't believe we're killing all these people. These people don't know what's going on. We should call in like reinforcement or something, bro. We shouldn't be just killing these dudes. Just gonna murder, I, I mean, there's security. It's not like they're in on it. It's not like he can go anywhere. But I guess we gotta do what we gotta do, bro. He go. Couple shots to the chest, he's gone as well. Got guys coming out of the plane, they're dead. Hit him. You kidding me? He's not even moving, bro. You could definitely hit him from there. Could probably shoot the, the barrels there, would have been nicer. This is this is big time, bro. Fighting private security. Let's go, Phelps. Let's go, champ. Let's go, champ. Hopefully, not gonna be able to hit him from there, so we're gonna push up. Try to push behind these boxes here. Got the guy with the bar up top. These guys were ready for a fight, bro. You're gonna have to explain this to me again. So the guy at the chemical plant, he's planning on selling his magic formula to another company and skipping town with his assistant, but he blows himself up before he can manage it. So why the dead body in the refrigerator? Mapes, Captain. He was eliminating all competitors for the process. When it went bang, he burnt down the apartment to remove all connection between Hughes and the plant. Mapes, right. I remember Vernon Mapes. The guy had good, honest cops hanging their heads in shame. Glad he's finally out of commission. So he was the one behind the murder. This all makes more sense now. Any good, Phelps. But between the spruce goose and half the city exploding you might just have made the case of the decade hmm. let's go baby love it when your superiors give you uh nice commendations there that's what i'm talking about the big unfriendly trophy has been earned i'm gonna be honest there's no way we got five stars we did so much vehicle damage in this episode we got three stars meritorious that's that's on me. I'll just I'll, I'll be honest with you guys. Our chase scene wasn't really that clean. We took out good morning, some people, doctor. but oh. good morning to you too, Elsa. You look radiant. Thank you, doctor. We haven't been seeing much of you lately. I thought he was dead and she was kidnapped. Missing appointments. I'm sorry, doctor. I've been feeling much better. Or is this that's before? Very good to hear. And what has brought about this improvement? It's the new man in my life. He's convinced me to fight. Ah, the policeman from the newspapers. How has he coped with his fall from grace? 
He can finally see things from a human perspective, rather than the ivory tower he created for himself. It's making him stronger, and it's making me stronger, help. You wouldn't make a bad analyst yourself, Elsa. Should we swap seats? <laughs> We're both finding we have a lot to live up to. And what is that? In my case, Lou. He went through hell along with me and still came out smiling. In Cole's case, his friend, Jack Kelso. Kelso? You've heard of him? No, uh... I just like the sound of his name. No. Paul and Jack are working on that case. No. Is Jack a policeman too? No. He works for the district attorney. What? He's a special investigator. I thought you didn't know him. I have never met the gentleman in question. He has been looking into Lou's case. Cole thinks it might be linked to some fires he's investigating. You look pale, doctor. It's cold in here, Elsa. I think I'll close the window. Is he gonna take her out too? Why are you looking at me like that, Elsa? You arranged for Lou to work at Elysian Fields, Doctor. Your fears are unfounded. I meet many people in my line of work. There are many ways that people can be helped. Work is just one of them. I don't believe you, Doctor. I've seen you with Monroe at the club. I'm sorry that you have come to that conclusion, Elsa. I've always so enjoyed our conversation. Oh! I can see your future, Elsa. Cole, the policeman, and Jack, the investigator. It's an unfortunate, grisly end. Who is that? Bro, what just happened? I've come to help you, Doctor. To help you cross over. All your sins will be forgiven. Next slide. So this, this is what, this is everything that happened like towards the end of the last episode when Jack Kelso was like going into the, the dude's like, mansion or whatever and fighting him and he gets the call at the end from i think it was from biggs he, he's like oh she's she's kidnapped and the doctor's dead that's what happened some dude i don't i don't recognize him am i supposed to recognize him i'm not sure some dude the, the doctor knocked her out some dude comes in and kills him and then takes her away i don't know if she's kidnapped i don't know if he's taking care of her but Everything is going to come to a point here in the next episode. The next episode is the final episode of the series. Things are really starting to heat up. I'm excited, dude, and uh, I'm going to see you guys there. Drop a like if you guys enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already, and um, I'll see you guys tomorrow for the finale.